A while back, a very good friend of mine gave me a jewelry box as a gift, and just recently it broke and fell apart, and I wasn't able to fix it, so I decided to just keep the little boxed um, drawers, and I thought I'd make some art with it. I've been seeing a lot of paper dioramas on like Pinterest, and I thought I should give it a try. So that's when I, I'm I'm gonna explain the process of how I do it. I'm not. This isn't exactly a tutorial. And also, if I sound like I'm dying, I'm so sorry. I'm still sick. I'm trying to get over this cough or whatever it is. The box was painted um, kind of like a rustic brown, and it had a gloss over it. So I knew that if I tried to paint over that, the paint would not stay. So I spray painted it with a gray primer. A white would have been better, but I didn't have any, so I just had to make do with what I had. As for color, if you hear squeaking in the back, it's my dog. She doesn't like to be by herself. She needs to be in a room with someone, so I apologize. I feel bad kicking her out. Um, for color, I used cadmium yellow in medium hue and then added a little bit of white just to brighten it up a bit. This is going to take a couple coats, so I'm just going to skip and fast forward to the end result. Here is the finished box. I painted the inside white and then I quickly sketched a thumbnail so I have an idea of what I want the inside to look like. I took measurements of the box so I could have a perfect square of what's going to be inside. During this process I had to think in layers. What was going to be in the very back? What was going to be like in the middle and then the very front? So I've already sketched everything else, right now I'm just doing little Jimin with his balloon real quick. Does anyone else think that their first drawing always comes out better than the second? Like when I do thumbnails, I always feel that my thumbnail looks better than the original drawing. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Okay, so we have our thumbnail, the curtains, little Jimin, the floorboards, the ocean, the clouds, and the background which is what I'm going to paint first. For the background, I wanted it to be ombre, so I needed the top to be blue and then had it fade out into a paler blue and eventually to a white, because I don't want this to mix in with the ocean when I put it on top later. I still need to learn how to do flat washes. I know that you have to put like a little pool of color on your paper and then spread it throughout the page evenly, but I'm using uh, Kansan mixed media paper and that's very thin cheap paper and I couldn't do that or else it'll make the page warp more than it's already warping here. <laughs> and I decided that I needed another layer of color because it was looking very light. For the curtains, I painted them a light beige color and then used a shade of yellow and brown to add shadows. The water was one of my favorite things to paint. I love painting water and oceans and the sea with watercolor. And here I just kind of did streaking motions, but not all the way across the page because I'm still going to need some of the white area to show through to be a reflection. It's kind of hard to explain how I did this. I just picked up some color and laid it on top of the paper. And if the color was looking too flat, I would get a darker blue and put it up on top. And I also had to let it dry a few times just so my colors didn't blend too well. I didn't film the process of me painting all of the little drawings because I want to keep this video short. So right now I'm just going to add a bit of more detail to the paintings with Copic markers.
So now I'm just gonna lay everything on top of each other, put the pieces together, and see if I like how they look. This will help me notice if there's anything out of place, whether that be colors or shapes or maybe darken a few shadows. Basically, editing before I actually put the whole thing together. And I think it looks pretty good, so I'm not going to add anything to it. Now, because the box is quite deep, I cut out these two pieces of cardboard that are pretty thick and I taped them together to put inside just to fill in the space a bit. And then on top of that, I cut out a square out of, um, the styrofoam plate that you saw in the beginning where I was putting my paint <laughs> just to give it a white background. And finally, just piece everything together and put it in its place. And here is the finished look. Um, I'm quite happy with it. I think it looks pretty good for my first diorama. I still have three other boxes that I'd like to do. Can you guys guess who I'm doing next? Thanks so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Usually, <laughs> I just started. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> okay, this is gonna take a while.